Hello and welcome back to Linus Noon Truck, where today I'll be teaching you how you can learn how to spin nunchucks in just a few minutes by using figure eights. This video is perfect for you if you've just picked up nunchucks for the first time and you want to know some fundamentals on how you can begin looking cool while spinning your nunchucks. In one of my previous videos I taught how you can learn how to use nunchucks by using redirects and other moves of those sorts, but in this video I'll be focusing specifically on using the figure eight in order to teach you how to spin nunchucks. Start out by holding on to your nunchucks in the front grip like this, so that if you stick out your thumb, you're pointing to the chain part of the nunchuck and not towards the end. This will put you in the right position to start learning this move. Take your nunchuck that you're holding on to like this, and begin swinging the other end so that it slashes downwards in front of your body. Be sure to make large motions and exaggerate your slashes downwards so that you can get the general feel for this move. After every half turn on each side, you're slashing the nunchuck downwards in front of your body, and as you begin to get the hang of this, you can make tighter and tighter circles so that your nunchucks do not travel as far with each side. The next move is simply learning how to spin your nunchucks clockwise and counterclockwise. This is important because it will be integrated into the other move later on. All that you have to do for this is hold on to your nunchuck in a front grip yet again, and begin swinging the other end around so that it makes circles in front of the end that you're holding on to. Try to keep the end that you're holding on to in the same spot as you're spinning the other end around. After you've learned both your downward slashing figure eight and your normal clockwise and counterclockwise spins, you can combine the two of them in order to perform a cooler looking move. In order to combine these two moves, all you have to do is start out by spinning your nunchuck so that it is going downwards in front of your body. So the nunchuck that you are swinging is going downwards when it is in front of you. From here, when the nunchuck is at its topmost point, vertical with the ground, you swing the nunchuck downwards and across into your downward slashing figure eight. So once again, as you have your nunchuck spinning so that the end that is swinging is going downwards in front of your body, you wait for the nunchuck to hit the topmost point before tracing it around and performing a downward slash just like you would for the downward slashing figure eight. After you've performed your downward slash, you use the momentum from the slash to keep your nunchuck spinning in the opposite direction. So this time, the nunchuck is still going downwards in front of your body because you are spinning in the opposite direction. And then once again, once the nunchuck hits the topmost point so it's vertical, you can swing it across and perform another slash going back to the side in which you started. You can keep this continuous by performing a, a few spins, then a slash, then a few spins on the other side, and then another downward slash into a few more spins and keeping the momentum going so that you can keep your nunchuck spinning smoothly. The objective is to perform the spins in a controlled manner so that you do not hit yourself while spinning. When starting out, be sure to exaggerate the motions before beginning to perform them faster so that you can get an understanding for them and later on be able to perform them in a more controlled and faster manner. So I hope that you learned something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming in the future and go check out some of the other various nunchuck related tutorials that have my channel.